All right, it's early Thursday morning, and it's supposed to be 70 degrees, and it's been pretty nice the last couple days. The So I've been servicing the winches on this boat, and uh, everybody knows my boat set around for a while before I got to it. The winches were in pretty bad shape, so when I took the first one off, it was just corrosive because everything's made out of bronze so the whole everything and it was just covered in green and you had to take a wire brush and clean them all off and all the parts there's probably 30 parts just in the smaller winch and they all had to soak in in kerosene and then you had to take a brush to them clean them all off and then put everything back together and then there's these little springs in there that got to get replaced. So I had to run up to Annapolis, which is an hour away and find the springs and come back. So it's the, so I got all four of them done. So let's go take a, I'm gonna take you around, show you some of the winches and then I'll take apart the big one. And then th there's two big ones left and there are even more parts in there. And I have to, I'll take that apart. I'll show you guys what, what the hell's going on. So there's those right here, there's two. There's one there. Those are easy. Those are just two gears. And uh and then that one's still I haven't put it back together. I don't know if I can't see it's real sunny out here and I can barely see the there it is. I can barely see it. So there's the once you take the outer cover off. And then And then right there is kerosene. And then, and that Lumar grease right there, that's $20 a tube, $20 a tube. So on the little one, see there's not much. It's this housing, which has got some bearings in it. And then a couple sprockets. And you just got to clean all those up, get all the gunk off of them, and oil it back up, put it back together. So that's an easy one. But this one, when you get to these, there's four of these, they get a little bit more complicated. They're complicated enough if you tear it all apart and you, ever done, and you haven't done it before, you just sit there and try to figure out how to get it back together. And so the first one I did. I took one apart and then I couldn't figure it out. So I took the, the other one apart and gave, and that told me what to do. So I got that one together, that one, and it took me all day to do two. And then the, ne the next day it took me all day to do two plus the ones on the mast. And this, these right here are the 65s I'm gonna take apart today. And there are even more shit inside there than the other ones. So there's a PDF that you can get off the internet, show you how to put them, take them, up, well, put them all back together once you tear them all apart. So that's what I'm going to take that, I'm going to take that top off, show you guys what it looks like on the inside. So there's the cover that came off the winch. And then inside there's bearings like, like those. And you, they slide, there's four of them, and they slide down on top of that shaft right here. And that way, this thing spins. So we're gonna take all that, that cover off, and underneath there, there's a shitload of gears, so I'm gonna get that off. So there's the cover that came off to where you can see all the gears. So you see, you just got to take all that apart, clean it up, put it back together. It's not that hard. It's just, you know, there's some washers and things that you have to have in a specific spot, as long as you remember that. And you can take each, on the other ones, you can just take one section, like this section out, clean it, put it all back together, then take the next section out, clean all it back together, and the center one, because there's all kinds of bearings up in here too. So you just got to do one section at a time and put it all back together and and pay attention to what you're doing. So I think it's going to work out. So I'll get back. So let's see if I can get this all 
done and back together the right way. You'll know, because once you try to use it, if it starts making all kinds of weird racket, like, yeah, you'll know. All right, so this one section is done. See, it'll come off. You can pull it off. And then this part goes here. So that's done. Now I'm gonna go over here to this one, pull this off and just do this section. Then once that's done, then I'll pull this off and do that section, put it all back together. Instead of trying to take all that stuff apart and set it all out in front of you, all these pieces, don't do that. You're asking for trouble. Just do it one section at a time. That way you don't get any of that stuff mixed up and your life will be lots easier. So now that the winches are all done, it's Shelly's turn to take over and she's going to make some winch covers. And how we did it, we went to East Marine and they had covers for like uh, consoles and it was like a canvas fabric with some plastic behind it that made it waterproof. So we just took those with like 50 bucks for the fabric and she's going to sew up some uh, covers for it. So let's take a look and see how she does. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got to cut out our pieces from the fabric. This isn't as easy as um, if you were using regular fabric because we're using a cover. And so it's already sewn up. And so I'm having to cut it apart and use the pieces to um, make the pieces to make the winch. About this is is that it's got this underneath part here that um, you put elastic in this piece that you sew in and then this elastic goes over the winch um, top of the winch and it pulls down around it so that it's secure and it won't be blowing off in the wind or anything and then you just pull this down around the uh, base of the winch um, I got um, my tutorial from Sailrite. Um, it was a really good tutorial. It was really easy. Um, you can go there to get the full um, instructions on how to uh, put this together. These winches, like this winch, if you bought this winch brand new, it would probably cost, I bet you this winch cost five, seven thousand bucks. I bet you this winch cost ten grand brand new. So, you know, I know that this these winches have been on this boat for what 30 40 years and if you take care of them they'll last forever so it's important i think it's important that you cover them up so that's what i'm going to do and and take care of this boat and stop remember, a long time ago i said i'm going to stop the deterioration and start working up and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put my money where my mouth is and and do it So then I got the winches done on that boat and uh, there's a boat that sits across and I, I look at it every day and it's a 1980 Nodder Swan racing boat. It's, it's a racing boat more than a cruiser, but I think my boat comes from this boat. I think if you had money back in the eighties and you were gonna try to buy the, one of the best boats you'd get this boat. So let's take a look at it. And I think mine was like a little bit cheaper version. So there it is. And I, look how this boat is rigged. It has, look at that winch right there. I thought my winch was big. That right there is a 95, a 90, a 90 Lumar. And uh, right there is the exact same winch. 
from it says England on it because Lumar has that's an older style winch and they're they say England on them so when you buy parts for it you have to make sure you're you're buying the right parts because it's an older style and same thing there's there's the same winch but you see the this one the teak for some reason I don't know if that teak is the original teak but it's in pretty good shape and then I'll show you guys later I have some of those on the back of my boat but they don't look exactly like that but I kind of like that better because of how I like the way that it has aluminum brackets on the bottom and then the pulleys set on the top so I mean this boat if you go down inside of it I could go inside it but it's somebody's boat I think what's going on with it is the guy hasn't paid his bill and has been sitting here for like three years and I think they're trying to repo it because he owes the marina. But I mean, look at the number of winches on this thing. And then they see how when you spin that, those handles right there, it spins those winches right there. So when you come up here, look at the number of winches that's set right there. And then just in the blocks alone, like there, there, all those down there at the bottom. The only thing it doesn't have that I didn't notice that it doesn't have man ship hatches on it that are polished stainless steel. So right there, they're, they're aluminum. And the rig, the setup for the windlass, he's got five H chain, there's five H chain on it and a windlass. And it's got like the old Scotland C, I think what C, CDRs, I think they're called, or CORs, I can't, CQRs, that's what they are. But they're for, I think they're for rock, rocky land, rocky areas. And, uh, but it looked just like the old anchor that I had when the boat was first made. So, and then the backstay, over there is on hydraulic and you can adjust it so see see how it has a hydraulic backstay to where you can adjust it at at any at any time and so let me turn this around that's a Nodder Swan 57 built 1980 and it's a swoop I think it's a swoop so really all it needs is new sails. That's what it needs. And uh, I turned some of those winches, you know, the niche, the win in these new lines, the winches greased up and there's a lot. I only did what, six? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 winches on this boat. So, but when you go inside down the companionway, if you go up to the front, it's got bunks. It goes into a room, the very front, and then there's bunk beds. Let me turn this around. So, when you go to the front of the bow of the boat, there's bunk beds on both sides. So, double bunks on both sides. Then it goes into another, you come back away from the bow, is another room, bunk beds on both sides. And then... It goes into the front living area, and then there, this is bunk beds on both sides. And then you go to the back part of the boat, and for the master, like underneath the oh, underneath the steering wheel, there's a, a room bunk bed. So there's probably like 10, 12 beds in there, and that's it. So it's made for racing, and I would trade my boat right now for this boat. Well, there's my hand in the camera. Sorry about that and uh i really like it so i don't know what's going to happen to it i'm going to keep my eye on it maybe i can make something happen yeah so maybe i make something happen i don't know you'd have to i'd have to find somebody to i'd have to sell my boat and i'd have to buy this one but i don't know what it's worth i i mean i think i i looked on the internet and i seen one fixed up for well i don't know about fixed up but i seen one for three hundred nineteen thousand. But this one's been sitting around, and 
and if you can get this boat for like 150 grand put new sails on it and new lines and get it all tuned up and the motor was good and the generator works good i don't that'd be a pretty good steal i think so and the sales, I don't think whether you'd have, you'd have to seven, 14, maybe 14 grand you'd buy in sales. So there's my buddy's boat. He's got like a little Hunter 30. And it's surprisingly big for, for the, for how small it is for a 30 foot. I didn't think a 30 foot had that much space to it, but he's got it, he's got it in the water. And he just got put in the water a couple of days ago. And we're gonna, I'm gonna help him put the sails on it and help him put the sails up and he's parked right next to the swan so that's the video for the week and the first, last video just went out that was the first time i got like five six hundred views and that felt pretty good so i thank everybody for watching and uh, i really appreciate it so don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment